to show you the zigzag technique. Um, just a quick little tutorial, I guess. Um, so you start with your flattened quill, put it across the bottom, you tack it down with one thread, hold that thread with your hand, fold your quill up, then go and tack the top down, hold that thread at the top. Then what you do is you come up beside the quill you just tack down along your line. Hold your threads though because that's how you keep your quill work tight. And so it doesn't show the background either. So now hold your bottom. do one more example with this blue and then I'll change the color just to show you how you can add in a quill. So you want your quill to kind of be as close as possible. I start with the straight line and I always end up working sideways. Okay, now it's time to add a new quill in and I'll switch the colors so you can kind of see how it looks when you add a um, different colored quill in. I'm adding green in so what you do is you kind of tuck it behind so with your thread you just go over the top of both quills hold it tight and then you bend it up so then your your quill that you just finished which would be like the blue is kind of tucked behind it and so now you can keep going with your new quill I'll do a couple to show you and then after that I will show you how you end um, your line so if you were at the end of where you wanted to be with your zigzagging say this is where you wanted to end um, your quill work so what you do when you end it instead of um, tucking it across here what you would do is you do it behind so you kind of fold your quill over and so tack it down so then what I would do is kind of go through the back with my threads. I think I even going out of film, I'm sorry, out of the view. So kind of tie it in the back with your thread, especially if you were at the point of being done. So just create a little bit of a knot to kind of hold your thread. Say you're finished what I do is I clip this little part and then I use my scissor to kind of tuck the quill behind so it stays behind it kind of dries behind there and then your project is finished Okay, so this next technique is the simple band. I am going to tack the bottom of my quill. I'm going to hold it 
with one side um, of my so with this band or simple band you take it and you put you tuck the quilt around the thread so then it kind of um, your quilt you just tacked up kind of goes behind And so it creates a little straight line. So then hold your thread. Go beside your quill at the bottom. So when you do the bottom, all you do is you tack it down. You don't have to twist it at the bottom. And go up take the thread behind the quill and kind of fold it over It creates a little bit of straight lines. Now hold the top thread again. Sometimes when doing this um, technique of quilling, it kind of helps to have a little bit of a, like a tweezer or something to kind of pull your quill if you're not that comfortable using it, just to keep them tight. So now it's time to switch a quill in this technique and you just do it the same way when you zigzag, you add it at the bottom. So you get to the point where if you were going to end it, you would take this, you do it one more time, and then tack it, tack it down. And you took your quill behind. Just make sure you always hold your thread tight. 